Do I really do it? Oh, do it. Really? Yeah, do it, bro. What you mean? <sighs> I, I, should, I, should, I should do it. He deserves it. <sighs> yeah, he went to the Buccaneers. He deserves it. believe in him but why did you leave why why do you leave <laughs> why 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 do you do this to us look 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 just like the wall he's just leaving <laughs> he has his back turned to us Damn, you just saw this coming, huh? Yeah, so I had to wrap the wall to, to do that. Oh, God. <sighs> All right, guys. It's too much. Me and Lavelle are extremely sad because our father, our Lord and Savior. Jehovah. Tom Jehovah Brady. The GOAT. Jesus Christ himself, walk on water Brady. Every game. I know. He left to the Tampa Bay fucking Buccaneers. <laughs> He just but why now? He trying to get loose. <laughs> who 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 is in a twenty year relationship and then leaves to go be a pirate? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen. It, it, what does happen? Literally, I am so upset, guys. I want to show you my life. Okay, I want to show you my life. Show him how committed you was, boss. I know. Okay, so let me just tell you real quick. I'm sad. I went to three Super Bowls in a row. I witnessed two of two wins, right, and, and then. And these are the jerseys I wore to those Super Bowls, and he signed every single one of them. Mm. That traitor. <laughs> I only have confetti on the, the behind the jerseys of the ones he won, and then the one he lost, but he still threw for 500 yards because he's a goat. He's goat. <laughs> Forever goated. Even, even, even when he loses, he wins. Six guys. <laughs> My favorite Super Bowl was Super Bowl 52. Because, Forget you. We don't because, get wins. because Tom Brady lost. I hate Tom Brady. How dare you, win? <laughs> so. So let me just tell you something real quick. I wanted a room to watch football in. Mm -hmm. So I, did, I, I, I got this whole room like Photoshop designed and I wrapped my entire room. The TV's gone, it was stolen. But I got the whole, I got the- <laughs> just rushes <laughs> over that. <laughs> I, I got my whole wall wrapped to look like uh, the Foxborough Stadium, the, 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 the Gillette Stadium. And I only watched one football game in this room and it wasn't even a Patriots game, it was a Cowboys game. I never even watched the Patriots game in this room. And you know what this man does? He does exactly what he did in that picture. He just left. Like he, my father. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's happening over and over again. Day job. Yeah, like my real father left, and then my real father left. <laughs> and the funny thing is, my real father lives in Tampa. And you know where he goes? Tampa. <laughs> so it's now. A shame, bro. <laughs> and this whole Patriot room. But Logan is still a number one Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Also, when he had this wall wrapped, he made Tom Brady's PP to scale. <laughs> <laughs> he has two of them because one is not enough. Yeah, <laughs> he's compensating for something. So yeah, when you want to turn on the lights, you gotta turn him on. <laughs> I, I had to get him off to get the room off. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, so look, honestly, when I got this room wrapped, that was my emotion. And now that he left, he like this. <laughs> He believed it. I can't. I can't even look at you. Look at. Me. He's like, go back. He cannot even look at himself. He can't even believe himself. <laughs> Take that jersey off. Okay, so here's my thought process. Okay, so I know a lot of our fans don't really care about football, but I do. Okay, no, I, I have fun. I have fun, and I, I I loved watching Tom Brady and the Patriots, and now I'm a huge Buccaneers fan. <laughs> I'm huge. I'm the biggest Buccaneers fan <laughs> you've ever met. Like literally, I'm gonna go to every Buccaneers game. This is the last time you'll ever see me in a Patriots Brady jersey because out with the old, in with the new. Yeah. And the reason why I'm making this vlog today is because the Buccaneers unveiled their new jerseys, and I already ordered five in every color. <laughs> five. <laughs> So he has to be excessive. You feel so me? I'm upset because I have this whole wall dedicated to something. And, and look, yes, I I was at these games, so it means a little bit of something. But it's just like, ugh. Like, how do you play for one team for 20 years and win six Super Bowls, go to nine of them, and then just say, no, I'm gonna go play for the Buccaneers. Ugh. Like, 
Uh. He knows they don't have a winning like season, so he can go there and do average, even if he doesn't have a good arsenal with him, and still pull it off. I think he's just trying to get that state. There's no income tax in Florida type. He's just trying to get secure the bag. That's hey. what he's trying. To okay, well here's my thing. Here's my Vote thing. it forever. I don't blame him. There's only. One way I'm happy he signs with the Buccaneers. Okay, well, real quick, let me explain. If he goes and wins the Super Bowl with the Buccaneers, amazing. He's a god. But if he goes to the Buccaneers and doesn't win, <laughs> then he's going to regret doing this. And it's going to be the stupidest thing he's ever done. I agree. I agree. Now, do I think they're going to go to the Super Bowl? Yes, and I think they're going to lose the Chiefs. Ooh. Oh, yeah. They're not going to. They're, they're not, not going to put two red suited teams in there. Like, oh, it says, says the 49ers and the Chiefs in the yeah, last Super Bowl. But that's gold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was gold. <laughs> oh, and this is red and pewter. Pewter. Oh, that's a computer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that a even color? color. Apparently, that's what it's called. Oh, um, wow. So anyway, so I'm really upset that he went to the Buccaneers. Like, who does that? Like, I want him to stay the. Pay I would have rather him retire than go play with the Buccaneers. He should have retired after the the last Super Bowl he won, which was also a bo boring ass Super Bowl. That's how but he wants get the round, right? yeah, yeah. But he should he should have he should have retired. That was his his storybook ending bullshit <laughs> scripted. <laughs> it should have been over after that. But now this man just wants to do whatever the f he's doing. So here's my, th I'm actually really happy he's with the Buccaneers because I can go, I, I live in Florida, so it's a six hour drive to Tampa. And then he's gonna play in New Orleans, which is a three hour drive. Ooh. And then he's gonna play in Atlanta, Ooh. which is a five hour drive. Okay. He's like within, he's like an hour flight. And, he, and I can go to every game. And then he plays in Charlotte, which is like a 12 hour drive. But we can go. Still within distance, you feel? We can go to all the Brady's games. Now I'm gonna show you all my memorabilia, which I don't know what I do with now. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the trash. Yeah. So these are my four tickets. I, I went to I went to Super Bowl. Uh, the is that what was it? Fifty four. Fifty four. Yeah. Yeah. So fifty four. So that was the Chiefs 49ers, but that was my first Super Bowl, which is the Patriots and the Falcons, and the Falcons lost. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. And that's why I hate Tom Brady because Tom Brady <laughs> took something from me that day. The first Super Bowl that I ever went to, when my team is smacking bottom at halftime, Tom Brady's gonna come out with tiny wiener energy, and he's gonna get over here and just effing. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Yeah, so Lance Lance is a huge Falcons fan, right? 28 and 3, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lance is, Lance is a huge Falcons fan. So the only reason I went to that Super Bowl is because Lance's team went. So I went and I was like, I'm gonna go for Tom Brady. And I saw him walk on water. I saw this man cure cancer. Mm. Like this man Preach. <laughs> preach, preach, son. This okay, it was it was 28 to 3 at halftime. I was about to go home at the game. I was actually at the game and I said, I'm going home. He almost pulled a Mark Wahlberg and left. Like little <laughs> Yeah, I literally at, at halftime. I said I, at the halftime. I said I am not about to watch Tom Brady get blown out in the Super Bowl. I'm done. And then Lance said, "No, there's always a chance." And then <laughs> you had to I, pick up. I was just trying to be nice because Logan took us to the Super Bowl, <laughs> and deep down I was like, Fuck you. But when I, I was like, "Okay, okay." Well, quick question: When they when the Patriots came back and won, how did you actually feel? I felt like I had been, like something had been taken from me. Like really? Yeah, it's kind of like, all right, you know if you were to win the lottery and you're on that last number, then you lose the lottery by a technicality? Yeah. That type of <laughs> that's what happened. Because the worst pain I've ever felt was when the Patriots lost to the Eagles. Oh my God, that was the greatest day. No, 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 like literally, I've never felt a pain Boy, like that. That was, that was heart wrenching. I got, I caught, I, I've been cheated on and it, it didn't hurt as bad as that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like that's some pain right now. It, that was pain. That was because the Eagles. Oh, no, no, they, it, it, they, so it was a backup quarterback. We were supposed to win. That part. I had taken like twenty people to this oh, game. Oh yeah, it was lit. It was a whole party. I walked in. Oh, yeah, it was like what negative five degrees when yeah, we were walking. Negative ten. Negative, negative ten. I walked in to U.S. Bank Stadium listening to back to back from oh, Drake. Yeah. I, I was so. Like, I was so sure they were going to win against the Eagles. I was listening to Back to Back by Drake. I said, easy game, blowout. I was like, we're about to win Back to Back Super Bowls. And then you know what happened? I got something taken from me. No! But let me tell you why it's not as hard as my loss. Because your loss, at least they've gone to multiple. You have an entire room. <laughs> you have one here, oh, boo-hoo, and then you got another one. <laughs> and then before that, they had several. The Falcons have not been to the Super Bowl, much less win a Super Bowl. Says so Michael Vick, right? No, Michael Vick. Oh, no, Michael, Michael Vick's never been. No, no, no. And I don't think. I think the last time the Falcons were in the Super Bowl b before '51, they lost to Brett Favre. They lost to Brett Favre. But I think it was 1993. Oh, that was the year I was born. That long? Yes. Oh. That's why. It oh, oh, or they, I think they lost to the Broncos. <laughs> I don't know who they lost to. They, they lost, and they'd only been one other time. And they go there, they are killing it, 
and then they shit the bed. Yeah. Oh, and now they're saying, oh, we need new uniforms. Okay, that's the problem. <laughs> they figured it out. I want to show you all my dedicated time to my memorabilia. So, I every every jersey I wore to the Super Bowl, I got Tom Brady to sign. So I'm never wearing them again. So I like those. Those mean something to me. And then I bought the trophy like re replica from the first one that he also signed. And then a helmet. It has the Saran wrap on it. Yeah, yeah. I still have the Saran wrap because I don't want to like I don't know. Don't mess that up, right? Yeah. And then I have a helmet signed by him, right? And then this is just a jersey. I went to the banner unveiling, so I still have that one. This is the ball he threw to me and I caught, and he had already signed it. But this is the coolest f***ing one. Like, this, this one right here, this is the actual ball that they kicked off at halftime in the last Super Bowl that, 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 that they won. I bought it in auction. <laughs> so this was kicked by Steven Goskowski at halftime. <laughs> Steven Godkowski. Godkowski. <laughs> He's cut too. He doesn't play for the Patriots anymore. Oh. I know. Oh my god, I can't wait for the season. The Patriots are gonna suck. They are gonna suck. <laughs> Actually, game used ball kicked off for a touchback, and then they said, <laughs> it. I wanted you so bad to say this was the first missed field goal ball. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would pay more money for that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so uh, that's that's what I'm so happy Do about. Do you think they would have sold it? They sell almost every game used ball, except for like if a player gets a touchdown, he gets to keep it. Yeah, so this is my Tom Brady Patriots room, which now do I rip it down and just not have anything, or do I leave it up? Or he's like, I'm gonna put Buccaneers up that bitch. <laughs> <Bruh. No. laughs> I even have this really cool rug. Like we're gonna put books everywhere. You know what? We're gonna put uh, some Pirates of the Caribbean shit over here. Yeah. <laughs> put booby and booby mountain treasure. Just boobies. <laughs> boobies. I love tits. <laughs> Just all pirate boobies. <laughs> So, uh, Lance, what do you think I do with the room? I think you should leave it because the Patriots are going to lose and then you can get to come in here. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he wants to see you sad. Yeah, like, I will never... Well, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, watch, I, I'm a Buccaneers fan now. I'm, no, you're not. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, what happens when Tom Brady retires from the Buccaneers? Mm. <laughs> Number one Cowboys fan. Just remember where you came from. Yeah, Cowboys. The whole room and the Cowboys. See, if did. Tom Brady would have signed with the Cowboys, oh. Yeah, that would have been something. That would have, been, that would have changed the world. That would have been a hell of a, a sign. See, I want you guys to know, my world... So, the whole, like, cough-cough thing's been happening. Mm -hmm. And then I'll, and then, and then Tom Brady leaves? Come on, now. Yeah, twenty. there's something wrong with 2020. They're like, it shouldn't. And then they were toying with me that Tom Brady could potentially have gone to the Falcons. I would have been done. Right, I would every Falcon thing I had burned. No, he would have loved it. He's saying that now. <laughs> if it would have happened, Cuz would have been cheering. Oh, because I would have had to deal with, oh, I spanked your butt in Super Bowl Fifty One, and now I own the team. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. And then he signed on March twenty eighth. That would be uh, like twenty eight to three. Oh. I would have been so pissed. Oh. I would have been so pissed. All right, guys, what is your favorite NFL team? Who's your favorite player? Um, are you a Buccaneers fan now? Me. I I am. I, I, everyone on Instagram is asking me, are you a Buccaneers fan? Yes. Confirmed here. What are the Patriots? What is this? All right, guys. So that's the end of this vlog. What do you guys think about my dad leaving me for the second time in my life? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, man. Take it from somebody who knows. <laughs> Let me spit something to you, baby. Mm. How do I say goodbye to my man crush? Mm. Tom, why? Why did you have to leave me, Tom? You know I miss you, baby. Mm.